Hallelujah. In the book of um, Luke chapter 24, from verse 44, the Bible says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I speak unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding. This is the surgery that Jesus did. Then opened he their understanding. You see, I can be talking, I can be speaking now, except the Spirit of God inspires your heart through what I'm saying. You will never come into understand. A good message doesn't necessarily bring transformation. It's the activity of the Spirit that accompanies the message. For the Bible says that there is a Spirit in man. It is the inspiration of the Almighty that gives understanding. Jesus did something like a surgery. The guys were living in the most privileged time where prophecy came alive. They could see the things that Joel said come to pass. They could see the things that Isaiah said. Prophecy came alive. Scriptures became flesh and bone. But because their understanding was darkened, they did not know that they were dwelling in the best times. It took a surgery. I don't know what Jesus did, but the Bible says he opened the understanding. He did what? The devil will always deal with people that do not have understanding because anything that God has given you, if you don't understand that it's yours, cannot be beneficial to your life. Understand. Understand. I remember a sister that used to, anytime there's problems, she would go to God and say, are you really with me? Are you with me? She didn't understand that God was with her. She didn't. As long as she, it didn't come to her as a revelation, it was not something that her heart could contain. She felt God was a visitor that would come and go. So it means that God is not available when there's crisis. She did not understand. And Satan will exploit every aspect of your ignorance. He will exploit it. To exploit. To exploit. When we're building this place, um, we we're supposed to fix the drainage. There was the, the drainage that the government built. It was poorly built and it collapsed. So we wanted to build it. It costed us uh, 8.6 million. So we're willing to deploy it because if we're going to wait for the government, uh, you know, we we'll wait for a long time. And it's the, the collapse of that drainage that was responsible for the flooding that was eating up our land. So in our own interest, we had to fix the drainage. While we're trying to fix the drainage, the workers came to me and said, work has stopped. And I was wondering, are we owing you? He said, no. What's the problem? So the snake that they used to establish this market is under the drainage. And they know their culture. To make a market viable, they need to do some spiritual things. And I don't understand that culture anyway. But the guys that were working on the drainage knew the culture and they were no longer willing to work, even though we are paid. But what they were telling me that, Pastor, this will not be our work. This is not, this is Pastor's work. This is, you know. So we just came to inform you that you are on duty now. But you know what? Are you with me? Sometimes you don't need a new revelation, you know. Sometimes what God does is I just reminds you of something he has told you before. Has it happened to you before? Anytime you see God reminding you of something, maybe you saw a vision, you didn't understand it, and you didn't bother. You just left it. And then the thing now happens. Then you now, is the surgery that brings understanding. Have you ever seen something before you didn't bother to know what it was, what it meant? And then when the thing now happens, you know, If you are without understanding, you are just moving like you are not part of the spiritual things that are moving to create the effect. So when I knew that God had already told us long time, long time ago, that wherever the sole of your feet will tread, I give you. You know, the understanding came. 
So we had to deploy some of those spiritual resources. I think we did that for seven days and the, 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 the workers returned. Whether it vanished, whether an angel came and picked it up, I don't know what happened, but it never came back. You don't need a new revelation most of the time. It needs to open your understanding. The difference between a man, a wanderer, and a man of destiny is that he understands by the law. Your pilgrimage in the, in the desert, it ends the day you take a hold of understanding that was grafted into your spirit by a deliberate work of God. Then opened he their understanding. So they were living, prophecy was happening. Prophecy came alive, but they were like spectators that were maroon. Until he conducted that surgery. When their understanding became enlightened, they became actors with him. And that's why we have a book in the Bible called Acts of the Apostles. Something switched on. They were no longer seeing the stories, they became the story. They were no longer reading history, they were making history. There was an understanding that changed everything. Then open ye their understanding. Then they could now. That's how Peter could come on the day of Pentecost and say, this you are seeing. Because people had discredited the move. I said, this is drunkenness. And the man that had understanding rose up. He was an interpreter that was bringing perspective to the things that God was doing that the city knew nothing about. And his reference point was Joel. This is that. Which the prophet Joel speak. That it shall come to pass after all. That I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons. And your daughters, they will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. And the Spirit of God will come upon your handmaidens and your servants. You know, those were societies that were, um, um, the strata in society was very, very defined. <laughs> I, I pray my testimony will not distract you. A, a church invited me to preach in London. And uh, they put me on British Airways and gave me a first business class seat. Because the British people are so classy, when you are about to leave the airplane, they'll give you a priority card. And what that means is, the place you are going to get your passport stamped in is different from the people that were in the economy. They separate you. So when you pass through that other gate and you, are on, you have a priority card, the person that will speak to you will speak so politely. How are you? How? And stand. But if you go through, I, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you go to the other place, they will check. I, wait. The move of God, the outpouring of the Spirit did not recognize strata of society. He came upon the servants. He came upon the handmaids. He came upon the sons and daughters. He came upon the elderly people. And the manifestation of the Holy Ghost in each case was different. Peter suddenly began to speak from understanding. And the moment he finished his deliverables, about 3,000 people were added to the church. Oh, that God will raise among us men that understand, that have come into an understanding of what God wants to do in this time. An understanding of what God wants to do in your family. An understanding of what he wants to do in your office. The moment you understand, you become an actor. But if you are not, if you don't understand, you are a spectator. You'll be, scriptures, prophecies being fulfilled, you are just a spectator. An understanding moves you from being a spectator to become an actor. I pray God. I pray God. Listen to me. Listen to me. Finally, because I want us to pray. We have um, five more minutes for me to finish this. Uh, let me give you a few tips, right? I, I'm, I'm in a group, a group of some of the world-leading prophets in this world. 
Are you following? I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm anointed. I'm not. Don't, I'm in a group. The, what some of the people there have been prophesying about next year is not a year you should miss. It's not a year. It's, it's heaven is counting on the fortunes that will come out of this year. Heaven is counting. Great thing will happen in Nigeria. A great thing. A great thing. A great thing will happen. How many of you still remember the Del Delta variant, the COVID variant? That was the arrow that was shot into South Africa. You know how, what it did to South Africa? Oh, you don't follow the news? Ah. You don't follow the news? And then the Omicron was shot into Nigeria. But you see, the outcome of what we have in Nigeria is not the same as South Africa. Why? Why the preservative? It was designed to bring us on our knees to reveal the fact that our healthcare system is porous. To make us dependent. But there's a shield. Yes, that shield is because of an intent of God that is about to come to pass. And angels have been dispatched to ensure that the polity is not thrown into confusion. The stage is set. And God is going to dispatch actors again. But what makes you an actor instead of being a spectator? Is that Jesus comes to you and he opens your understanding. Oh my. I don't know how. You see, I'm already getting anointed just telling you what I'm telling you. He opened their what? Let me give you an insight. Those days we're still in Venice State University. I'm talking about uh, 24 years ago. And we, we used to pray. We're just, a, a, you know. And God used to speak. There was this, some of those sisters, they had this gift of prophecy. We pray for that sometimes the prophecy becomes so loaded. One of those days, the utterance was that that revival that was prophesied, and some of you will walk in it. And as, as they were saying it, I knew I was implicated. That's understanding. It means you are part of this utterance. You are an actor. It is, it is about you. Your destiny is what they are talking about. You know, I told you, on the surface of the heart, and anything you do that does not affect your heart cannot change your life. The preacher can be preaching. You like his utterance. You like his lingo. You like his presentation. You like his intelligence. You like his stories. You like, wow, they still cerebral. You are not part of what he's saying until the spirit of understanding quickens you. For the Bible says that there is a spirit in man. It is the inspiration of the Almighty that gives them what? understand. You become an actor. The pages and the chronicles of the Acts of the Apostles will be open again because there are some activities that will still find expression under the influence of the Holy Ghost in a much heavier measure than our ancestors that began this journey. Something is about to happen. Among these people, there has been witness. Witness about the year 2022. Something mighty is hitting the ground. It is because of this witness that um, some of us will hide, go and hide for days to get understanding so that we can tell you clearly this is how God is going. This is, this, this is our God. That's the, uh, that's the assignment of a prophet. To bring the counsel of God in simple, plain language so that anyone that cares to follow the strategy will know what to do and how to get it done. There is something destined to happen. A few nations have been unpicked by God and Nigeria is inclusive. And the kind of thing I'm talking about is so massive that it will affect every fabric of our being as a nation. Can we pray? I don't want to talk too much. Then open he. I understand. Have you noticed that in Bible study, you don't see the counsel of God. You just read. It's just dead. No, you need a surgery. What God wants to tell us today, what he wants to tell us tomorrow, what he wants to tell us in the next 10 years is in that book. But except he, the one who is light, sheds his light upon your heart, all you will have is darkness. Can we pray today 
I said, Jesus, we submit for that surgery that you might open our understanding. Oh my. Let this day be that day that many of us will make reference to and say, this is where it all began. And when I rose from the place of prayer, I could see the giants that I was raised to kill. This is where it all began. The inspiration of the Almighty, it gave me understanding. My confusion was overpassed. And I could see yonder. I could see the glory that was set before me. And it gave me the audacity to endure the persecution and the trials and the tribulations. When you rise tonight, may the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. And you cease to be a spectator. You become an actor. Ooh. We have a book called The Book of the Acts of the Apostles because some men acted under the influence of the Holy Ghost. A new set of actors are coming. A new set of actors are coming to renovate the landscape and to bring the hand of God where darkness hitherto had tried. You are about to take your journey. And even though you say you are weak, God will make you strong. We dwell in the greatest of moments. We dwell in the greatest of times. We dwell in the greatest of seasons. I command. Hosanna overflow. 